Once again, this is Stu from OutdoorHydro.com, and today we're going to be reviewing what I believe is the best DWC system I've ever seen for outdoor and even indoor growers. Let's take a look and see what makes this unit so special. Okay, so to start off, I'd like to mention that this unit is plug and play, as in there are no air stones required, and we'll talk more about that in a minute, and the kit comes with the Hydraton, neck cups, and if you can believe it, it even comes with the Ponix pump, which I also did a review on previously. But that doesn't even begin to scratch the surface of what this unit is really about. Now the main feature of this unit is an ingenious oxygen injection system which takes the place of the traditional air stone. Usually we put in a couple air stones to aerate the water, but this new system does something a thousand times better. Inside the system is, is a special pump which pumps water into the reservoir and recirculates it at a high speed. There's an air hose which sits external from the reservoir, and each time the water goes through the pump, it catches some of that oxygen and traps it uh, from the tube and laces the water with it and then spits it out. So what you end up with is a constantly circulating bath of highly oxygenated water, which is really good. This system is so effective, in fact, that it can actually max out your dissolved oxygen levels in ways that no amount of air stones ever could. Now you may be asking yourself, so what? I don't need that much oxygen, right? And that's where you couldn't be more wrong. The reason why growing in super warm temperatures like 80 degrees plus is so difficult is that when the water molecules become excited as they heat, they retain less and less oxygen and eventually it chokes out your roots. The same goes for extreme cold temperatures um, and amazingly this system is able to keep the dissolved oxygen content levels high even in these extreme temperatures, allowing your crops to thrive where previously it was too hot or cold to do so. I mean, I'm not going to go buy a $300 chiller for a small DWC setup like this, uh, so that's why I don't really like outdoor DWCs that much. But now, it's no longer a problem because the system can grow your food even when it's 80 degrees plus outside as the roots uh, will always have ample oxygen. For example, I can never grow lettuce in my garage. Lettuce is a shade crop and it likes cooler temps for its water, but my garage gets it's 80 degrees or even hotter sometimes and sometimes it has a lot of temperature swings like it'll go from 90 all the way down to 50 really quickly and as we all know the roots don't like that uh, so I was never really able to grow lettuce in my garage like I wanted to until now as you can see the lettuce here is literally exploding out of me and this is the heart the core of what makes the system so awesome the fact that it can withstand temperature swings and grow healthy plants in otherwise unacceptable temperatures because of its unique ability to keep the dissolved oxygen content high again this is something that no air stone fed DWC could ever accomplish Speaking of which, without the need for air stones, that means there's no need for external air pumps that need to be protected from the rain. That's right, this system is waterproof, as the oxygen delivery system is self-contained within the reservoir itself and is submersed in water. So you can leave this thing outside and let it rain on it all you want, and the thing will never break. I can't tell you how many damn air pumps I've lost to rain, so for me this is awesome because this unit can not only withstand crazy outside temperatures, but it also doesn't mind a little bit of rain, which hey, it happens if you're growing outdoors. Another very interesting trait I observed during my trials with this system was that the pH level remained eerily stable. My problem with small reservoirs like this is that the pH tends to fluctuate dramatically and quickly, and I keep having to dump pH down solution in there to balance it out. Whereas with this unit, I literally plugged it in and left it alone for three weeks. I only checked the pH three times, and each time it was at the same pH level I left it at, which was at a 6.0. I mean, that's pretty impressive. I think it has something to do with the water keeping everything circulated or something, but I, I'm, I'm just thankful that the days of constantly trying to keep the pH stable are gone for me. Now on top of all that awesomeness, the whole thing is 100% FDA approved food grade plastic. The lid that holds the net cups is made from food safe, high density polyethylene, and the reservoir itself is made of polypropylene. So you don't have to worry about nasty BPAs or other weird plastic residues leaking into your food. Something you should always think about when growing your own. Another thing that's really cool is that Zero Mile Farms offers a variety of different size net cups and tops for the system. So you could order one with 20 of the 2 inch net cups, or you could have 6 of the 3.75 inch net cups, or even 2 large 6 inch net cups. So I could grow 20 lettuce plants, or even grow 2 big tomatoes or peppers. Uh, so the system is very versatile in that it can grow a variety of different size plants and you can customize it to your needs. 
And if all that wasn't enough, it comes with a Ponix pump for easy no-lift, no-spill reservoir changes. Color me fucking impressed. This thing is an outdoor grower's dream. The rain doesn't bother it, you can grow in super hot or super cold environments, even ones where the temperature fluctuates real often. And for only 150 bucks, it comes with literally everything you need, including the hydroton. No air stones or air pumps, none of that. Just plop some water and nutrients in there and plug it into the wall, and you're good to go. And with such stable pH levels, this thing is literally fire and forget. You plug it in, go on a two-week vacation, come back to beautiful herbs and vegetables. This system is now my DWC of choice for both indoor and outdoor growing. And if anyone knows of a system that can rival it, please let me know about it, because as far as I'm concerned, they pulled a hat trick on me with this one, and I don't see many ways it could be improved on. If you have any questions about the system, leave a comment below and don't forget to subscribe. And stay tuned because I'm going to be growing some larger plants next time, maybe some peppers or some tomatoes. Check out OutdoorHydro.com if you want to read the written review. And until next time, keep it local, keep it fresh, keep it hydro.